it will be the next part for the tutorial for bootstrap so today we will continue with um, the grid so we can start so as you must know it will be a 12 grid system so if you have only two columns it will be six and six for the two columns so you can divide your ratio um, to be fit with a 12 so I will demonstrate that with uh, three columns that we can see here. So as you can see, I have put the container from Bootstrap and after I've put a row and uh, the three calls. And it will be divide the 12 um, by the three. So it will be four, four, four here in this case. If you put only two columns, you will see only six by six. I will remove just one column so you can see better what happens. Okay. It's a 6 and 6. Always keep uh, the ratio in mind because it's really important. Another tips: If you want to uh, put the container all the space without um, the margin that you can see, you put the container through it. So it will take all the place. Okay, but here we will just uh, keep that in the, um, the middle with the margin that, as you can see. The system of uh, the grid system is uh, using uh, the display flex that we have uh, seen the last uh, tutorial, but um, we will cover some uh, subjects here about that. The grid is uh, responsive, so it means if you change the resolution of the screen, it will be fit to the screen. But here we are not uh, using uh, the system. As you can see, we have put the ratio. So anyway, it's a small device of a big device, you will have the same result here. So we have um, on the top, we have uh, four columns. And below, we display um, to be fit with eight columns and after four columns. As you can see, it will uh, give this ratio here. Now, if you want to align the call 8 to be fit, you know, with uh, uh, maybe the, the three columns and after you will stay the last column to the, the last um, text here, we can do like this. Um, we go for um, the 12 system. So it's a little bit mathematic. So what you do, you have a 12, you divide by 4. So it will give to 3. You have um, 3 by 3, so it will be 9. So call 9 will be all the section that you can see here. And after 12 minus uh, 9 give you 3. So the, um, you can see what is left for the, the colony here. So keep in mind to have something really consistent and uh, with uh, some ratio also. If I adjust uh, the size of the screen, as you can see, it will uh, change the disposition of uh, the div here. But it's it will be everything always the same. If you want more control, we will see that now. If you want to change for the smallest breakpoint, as you can see here, I will resize here and everything will be horizontal here so um, this is um, the things that you can do with um, the directive with the SM here for the small smallest here okay if you want to have more control of the responsiveness you can see here you have the tw uh, 12 for the 8 and the 4 so this is uh, the normal case with the MD so this is uh, for uh, the um, the resolution is the medium but um if you have something uh, otherwise um, other than that if you resize you will see it will take only the six here so this is um uh, something really important that you can see here so you can control the disposition that you want so i'm trying to guide you to the other way as you can see here, we have the row calls four, and we have also um, we have some 
um, class here that you can change the resolution if it depends uh, if it's smallest device of a medium device of maybe another uh, uh, size of device by default you can choose um, if you don't know without uh, indicating uh, small of medium like here you can do also nested uh, uh, styling like here so when you know what to do you can choose one of um, the design that you want and you can try it to fit but always keep in mind that the ratio must be 12 okay we have seen the grid and you can also do the same exactly with the display flex of course just for your information, the display grid system from Bootstrap is using the display flex. So as you can see, I click on the row here and you can see there is the display flex and the flex wrap is wrap. So if you see the preceding tutorial, we have seen the display flex. So there is no magical things. It's using this system. If you go to the call, you can see you have the flex shrink and you have uh, some instruction here from uh, the bootstrap to uh, uh, to do that but um, it's in fact in the reality it does um, um, the, with the CSS with the flex exactly the same but it's already parameter for you but um, this is uh, something good to know it's not magical it's uh, something behind it's uh, using the display flex as you can see here so um, this is really important. So maybe you will tell me what I'm using. I think the best it depends the situation. If you have uh, something really uh, easy and not too complicated and it uh, can be used by uh, Bootstrap, don't uh, feel free to use it to go uh, faster. But be conscious that um, it's using the flex. So if you are, don't know what is flex, I invite you to see my uh, presenting tutorial and also to uh, see on Google more information about the, the flex because this is really important to understand what you are manipulating with the bootstrap. Okay, this is, uh, seems uh, better. So I hope you have a better understanding of the grid because it's uh, an essential uh, thing uh, to know. We can go further. We have also the colon system. As you can see, you have all the documentation here about how you can do some adjustment. It's always uh, with the display flex. So it's uh, using exactly what we have seen precedently. Just to keep in mind that the start is on most on the left. In the end, it's the most on the right. Of course, if you are with the align item, it will be the start, it will be on the top and the end will be uh, below, the most below. Okay, something uh, more important. If you have MS Auto, what does it mean? It will be a uh, margin auto on the, um, on the left, but it's really important if you need uh, some space. I will uh, show you that here. Okay, let me to demonstrate on the div that you can see here. We have um, three co uh, colon, it uh, will be um, three div, uh, and there is the repetition on the 12. I will do just the MSO2, as you can see better what happens now. As you can see, it will um, push all the things on, on the right, so we have a margin here. If you do exactly the same with uh, not MS uh, auto, but uh, MN auto, on the first column it will put uh, some margin there. So as you can see, um, this is uh, really nice. We can do exactly the same here. I want some uh, some space maybe um, at the end here. So what I will do, it will center the things because uh, it will be exactly the same. But if you want this part more on the right, what you do, you just put MS Auto just on the part here. But keep in mind it's um, not container free here, so we are not uh, we have uh, some margin uh, before. See, so if you want something really fit with your screen, you can do like this. So we have the MS Auto here, and we have this part is uh, uh, the most on the right. 
So if I put for the um, column two um, the margin start auto here, it will push the things uh, more on the right, as you can see. We can remove that and you can see what happens now. Okay, so this is margin start and this is margin end, as you can see and it will be at the end and start it's from the start okay this is uh, sounds good i hope it's more clear for you so what does it mean you don't need to create a manual uh, styling you can use uh, this um, instruction um, and this uh, class from uh, bootstrap directly so and you can cumulate of course with uh, other class so this is um, seems really good as you can see, we have uh, some disposition that we can do also with uh, that. Okay, I'll let you uh, to watch the other topics on the Bootstrap website, of course. There is another example with the gutter. Um, so as you can see here, uh, with that you can do some um, spacing without uh, put uh, um, you know the resize automatically so this is a really interesting if you have a, for example um, two cards and you have a three cards but if you remove one of the card it will not um, uh, fit with the screen here so let me explain when you are not using that for example I'm not using the guitar here okay so you see the colon is uh, fitting here. Now, if I use the guitar, you can see the there is a, a spacing uh, after just uh, on that. So this is uh, seems really interesting. If you uh, want to do some uh, spacing with the same ratio everywhere. Okay, there is another example of Qatar um, in Y. So as you can see, it will be five, but if I put two, it will be like this. So if we resize, we can see just the here. So we have a space in vertically, as you can see here. You can accumulate also with uh, the X. So as you can see, we've um, GX5, you have that. If I put smaller, you have uh, this uh, uh, gutter, uh, just uh, smaller also. So this is um, something really nice that you can do also if you want to adjust. So it will avoid you um, to have a different uh, uh, spacing here. So this is uh, something that you can use if you have uh, some cards and you want uh, have the same space between the cards inside like here okay we can go for our next uh, topic with the z-index so uh, this is something uh, really important that maybe you already know but I will show you that again okay for the demonstration here I just had to put um, three square one for the red and you have a uh, two square the yellow and the green. You don't see the yellow because it's behind the. the uh, you don't see the green because it's behind the yellow. So how I can adjust that? As you can see, I have a Z index here of ten. So uh, this is seems uh, by default it will be zero. So the other will be uh, hidden. So I will increase here the Z index as as you can see is there. If I put a zero it will be not visible again. So uh, you must uh, keep that the depth is really important. So with that you can control uh, what you want to see in the first uh, uh, plan of uh, in the background. So you must play with the Z-index to control that. 
So to better understand why they are talking the Z index here in the bootstrap, because you can have drop down of other elements and that you don't see because um, it's maybe uh, hiding. So uh, keep in mind if you don't control it uh, correctly, you can have uh, this issue and you cannot see maybe correctly your uh, component of uh, your div. You have also the CSS grid, but it's experimental, as you can read here. And it's always um, uh, seen some pro property from the display flex. Uh, you have um, the gap that we didn't uh, have seen. So it means uh, if um, there is nothing, uh, it will not try to, uh, to take all the place of the diff. I have used that for a system of cards because uh, I wanted to have uh, three cards. But uh, if we are, I have only two cards, I don't want that uh, the two cards are, are fitting uh, uh, with all the diff. So this is uh, really um, good if you want to experiment uh, something here. I will not show that here because um, I didn't put the functionality enabled here. To better understand, uh, you can see the gap from uh, the documentation here. Um, and when you are using that, for example, the five doesn't take the two column here. It just uh, stays on the left. So this is uh, really uh, nice if you have uh, something that you fill dynamically. Um, so you can control uh, like that. Okay, you have other um, uh, styling that you can use from Bootstrap. It will be the form. This is the most uh, um, useful and um, that you can see. Uh, you use the form and after you can use uh, some uh, styling class. Um, feel free to use that because it will give you a better shape on your forms. As you can see here. When you have the focus, you have a something blue like here. Um, okay, so I'll let you to do that from the documentation. You just uh, copy, paste and try from the documentation here. You can disable also like here. So this is really important. If you put something disable, it will uh, have already a class for that to disable the functionality. And don't forget the accessibility also. So this is uh, something really important. If you have uh, some people deficient, they can um, also read and have uh, some vocal text here. Okay, we can go uh, further. If we go for the select, uh, it will be the select that you can see here. You just put from select on that and it will apply the styling there. As you can see, you have a multiple choice. So seems nice and also for the check radio you use the form dash uh, uh, check and after uh, you have the form dash check uh, dash label here always when you are using uh, some checkbox don't forget it's uh, related if you have the four it's uh, from the label and it will uh, take the name that you have a pass for the id here so this is uh, related so uh, keep that in mind. You have the disable, you have also the same for the radio and we, you have the switches. The switches uh, is really good so you can uh, click on this just to switch the, the element. With the ng model you can bind that to a variable. And you have the inline also, this is uh, really interesting. Okay, you have the reverse and all uh, the stuff that we have uh, seen for the form it's possible also to reverse so instead of uh, starting here you start there okay so it seems uh, uh, really nice uh, and you can use that directly with the class from bootstrap as you can see you have a many choice you have the range so this is uh, something to uh, between two value from the start and the end and you can select this value. So this is something that you can use for a step, for example, you want to go to the next step, you can click on this and you can have uh, some parameter to put some value. So it's come from the HTML5, but after it's have a new design from a bootstrap. So you just 
apply the style from bootstrap with the form range here the input group you can see you can grouping with a label and now uh, with the input so this is a nice disposition that you can put so you just copy and try it in uh, your code you have a different aspect also small default large and you can change of course the icon if you want to, to, to change it um, yeah so you have a multiple example that you can see here for example for a search bar you can use something like that for the input group here okay seems uh, really good you have the floating level so for example you click here you see the level uh, stays on the top so this is also something in material i don't know if you have seen that but it's the same way in the bootstrap library so you just apply the form floating you have the input and the label and with the label it will stay on the top here so it can be nice if you want that in your design also you have the text area when you have a multiple line you have the command but also with the floating uh, label you have always the placeholder so this is something that you can also use um yeah so we have seen all the the stuff related to the floating labels you have a lot of layout that you can also uh, use uh, to display the form in better shape so as you can see you just uh, try some example here and you have the disposition so you have two columns so it, it takes exactly the same principle than for the grid so we uh, use it that for the form you have the row and you have your call inside so um, so it will be the half of the row here okay you can do that uh, for multiple example as you can see here um, and you have a multiple disposition also that you can try it depends the context and what you want to do also and we have the validation so if you want to submit the form here you have a, a lot of error how do you display that you just uh, use the form validation so you see with the invalid feedback here uh, and with uh, the other class the valid feedback so you can create some class here and uh, it will uh, display here so it will be always uh, with invalid or valid it depends what you are applying so feel free to uh, check the documentation to uh, have a better understand how to use that so i will not cover that here but you can have already nice presentation when you want to submit a form and you want to have um, some indication so you have different kind of uh, validation like uh, the tooltip here uh, but it can be something else also and of course you can uh, using sas also if you want it to um, manage um, and control better this um, layout if you want something more specific you can adjust that for uh, your design okay and you can uh, see there is other component that we will start now you have the accordion what is this when you click on this you have uh, something that expands so this is uh, something also related with the id of your component so uh, you must uh, keep a good id hitting hitting one for example and you put the target to uh, to the same uh, thing so if you go here um, we go to the to the target here so if we check here we have a collapse one i don't know if you see so uh, this is mean uh, that we have uh, the collapse one here the id so it must be exactly the same id that you have a, co a collapse this is the same principle for the other so this is something nice you don't have uh, to write a component for that you can use that and you can feel free also to adjust a little bit the css if it's not uh, 
for example the arrow doesn't uh, fit with your design you can change it we have the alert so this is uh, some kind of alert that you can see the warning the light we have uh, some kinds so we have the danger also the warning um, so you can use it just to display uh, a warning uh, information on your screen also of uh, it can be just an information for example as you can see I click here I see um, the alert and I can close it uh, you have a lot of uh, kind of uh, color that you can use also it depends the context of course you can put an icon also like this so this is um, possible also and um, you have a lot of uh, parameter um, yeah so this is something that you can use you have the badge so you can have small information like something new for example and um, this badge has a border radius and also the text so you can use that and you have for example for some notifications you want a counter you can use uh, this uh, nice badge here um, with the class of course and the color of the badge that you want to use and for the text you can change also with uh, the class already here uh, for example it will be gray if you use that you have other batch with other position as you can see you have the background color also so this is something nice that you don't have to do customly so you can use that uh, really easy you have the famous breadcrumb um, to see uh, where you are in your application for the routing for example uh, so this is uh, something that you can use and the layout is already uh, implemented here as you can see you use the class breadcrumb and with the other class uh, below you have some divider also that you can use and yeah and that's it for the button we have already seen that in the first tutorial so you have different kind of button please use um, the appropriate kind of button for um, the action that you want to do and also uh, you can create your own uh, color also it depends because if your palette is really totally different you can create a custom palette also for your um, application you have a different size of button also with a large or small as you can see it will be LG for large and SM for small and um, yeah we have already uh, covered that in the first tutorial so I will uh, go further you have the button group when you have multiple buttons that you want to be uh, fit together and uh, yeah you can uh, put some color also this is a, a possibility also you have a different kind of disposition also that you can put oh uh, yeah so as you can see there is a lot of uh, features that you can use we have the card and this is uh, something really nice you can have a card like this just to uh, some disposition also um, we, you have a card with a header and a footer so this is uh, the most uh, that you can use for example the body but you have the same with the header like I mentioned and also you can change also the color so if you for example you try this one we copy that and we try like here just for the example you can see you have your card here so this is, seems uh, really good okay just for the demonstration here I've put a container with a row with two curl as you can see it will be the half and I've put the card here so um, it's something uh, really nice that you can use also if you want other disposition I put the core tree for example it will be um, tree and at the rest it will be online because it's 12 for grids so uh, this is, seems really good if you go faster don't forget to put the container also the row because there is the disposition of the flex here okay we can go back to the documentation as you can see you have multiple layout for the for the card so feel free to use and to check it what uh, which option is the best 
Okay, we have um, almost uh, seen all the functionality of Bootstrap, so we can go for this one for the carousel. This is uh, when you slide for uh, some uh, picture, so you can use that for that for a slideshow. You have a indicator also. So just um, be uh, conscious that when you uh, create your design and this stuff, don't create from scratch if it's possible, because uh, sometimes it's already done, so um, it's really a uh, uh, win time for you if you can use uh, some functionality. For example, there is uh, something uh, change for the arrow, but the functionality is there, so just uh, use it. Uh, okay, so you can see you have the same with the caption. You have the crossfade. So this is uh, seems a fade in uh, and fade out in the same time when you change it. So it will be the crossfade. Uh, you have the first slide, the second slide. And you have um, other uh, things that you can use also. Um, this is really interesting. This is uh, more for the tablet, this thing. So this is other variant. And this is a slide automatically, as you can see. You have uh, some variation here. Okay, the close button is uh, when you close, um, like you have seen for the alert, you can um, close the diff. So it will be um, uh, uh, close uh, the diff. But uh, if you are in uh, Angular, you can do create a button and you can hide with the ng if. It's really simple. So uh, it depends the context what you want to do. You have the collapse, so this is uh, a collapse button. And you have uh, some disposition that you can use, it depends the context also. You have the drop down. Okay, don't forget to use the JavaScript library, it's mentioned also. So uh, you must uh, use the Bootstrap bundle, and it contains the popper library also. Before it was a jQuery, but now they moved that. So um, okay, so this is a really uh, something that you can use. Uh, the layout is really nice. You can do also by yourself just uh, for the exercise to create uh, a layout like this. So this is, seems really good. And you can use the drop down in the navbar, of course. You have the list group, like here. Uh, it seems like a shop list, so this is, seems uh, really nice. You have uh, some disposition that you can use also. Uh, this is, seems uh, really optional, so you can see. You can use also uh, different uh, uh, features for the list group. I will not cover all, all the things because there is a lot of a style here. You have the model. What is this? Uh, it's uh, something that you can show when you click, for example, I close, I save. So if I launch the demo model, it will open a pop-up here. And so I can close or I can save the changes. Okay, this is um, seems good. So if you do that yourself, you must do a background, uh, lightly gray and with a transparency and also um, to uh, block the element from uh, in the background also. So you put with the Zent index to be uh, on the top of the other element. Okay, it seems uh, really good. You have a lot of options also. We have the knife bar, it's the famous. So we have already covered that when you do the routing. So you can see the tutorial of the routing. And you can try it, so this is not really complicated. You just copy past and you change with the rotor link uh, the option that you wanted. And also uh, you can have uh, some variation instead of the light, you can have the dark mode also. You have the nav and tabs, so this is uh, some tabs that you can have and you have the content inside. Okay, I will stop uh, to cover here because um, there is also other topics uh, that you can see by yourself. You have um, the pagination. This is uh, something really nice. Uh, personally, I've already used it because uh, when you have a lot of uh, items in a um, table, 
it's nice if you have a pager so this is already uh, designed and you just uh, uh, do some implementation to uh, change of the page when you change the loading also from your API you have uh, some placeholder so this is uh, something nice also that you can uh, see that indicates something is uh, loading so this is uh, like the skeleton so this is, seems uh, really good so if you want to uh, to uh, improving your application if you are uh, doing something and you don't don't seem uh, to freeze the application you can use that um, it's uh, exactly in the same way that the skeleton here so when it's loaded and when it's not loaded you have uh, two mode here okay and uh, we have a lot of uh, things that we don't have a cover we have the popover as you can see this is a seems like a tooltip that you can see here you have uh, some disposition also you have the progress bar also this is um, really nice if you have a percentage to show so uh, I'll let you to read the documentation and also to use the class uh, appropriate here you have the spinner so this is something to wait you see this is a simple uh, seems really good and you have different colors also you have the toast so this is uh, like the alert but um, with um, the toast message so it will appear like here you can uh, put where you want um, the location it will be so it can be changed here it's in the lower right but it can be in another place also and you have the two tips so this is uh, when you pass on without clicking on something you can see the two tips and also with a nice layout as you can see you can um, choose the layout that you want okay all right we, we have seen a lot of things from um, bootstrap um, feel free to um, to watch some points that uh, I didn't have mentioned of to go deeper in the documentation if you need some help I hope it will help you and uh, I wish you a pleasant uh, day of night in the context see you bye